indulge me for a minute, can we talk about when you and Rob Lowe fell head over heels? I was about 14, 15, and I was doing a talk show on a lot, and Rob came running over to introduce himself to me, and he told me years later that he tucked the script under his arms so that I would know that he was a working actor, too, and not some kid just coming up to talk to me. <laughs> well played, Rob. <laughs> yeah, it worked. They developed a friendship, but that turned into more when they bumped into each other years later. I was driving home from work, and he pulled up at a stoplight. I had my prairie makeup on, which was basically just boring. Please tell me you had the bonnet on. I did not, but my hair was all funky from being in a bun that day. And we pulled up, and we started talking and exchanged numbers. And then that eventually led to us dating, and six years later, we Decades after starring as Laura Ingalls Wilder, Melissa's living the prairie life once again because of the pandemic. She's been quarantining with husband Timothy Busfield at their cabin in the Catskills, canning food and raising chickens. Tell everybody the names of your chickens and how they're doing. Dr. Fauci is our chicken. Dr. Fauci is a national treasure. His middle name is Biggie. Dr. Biggie Fauci, and he's doing great. And tell me about the sour pickles. I saw your post. Do they taste good? How did they turn out? They're the best pickles we've oh. ever had. And it's so amazing that they came from our cucumbers. I have th this insane amount of tomatoes. I don't know what to do with. I'm going to have to start canning for winter and fall. I wake up every morning, and I go out and do my chicken chores, and then I go out into the garden, and I come in with just armfuls of lettuce and abundance, and it's... The best food I've ever tasted. Little House on the Prairie is spiking right now. What do you attribute that to? You know, I think it's probably a combination of things. People are wanting comfort television, and they're going back to what brings them that sense of when things were simpler and things were easier. People must remember also that when Little House on the Prairie debuted, we were in the middle of, at that point, the worst recession the country's ever seen. So we were sort of there to show people that if the pioneers could make it through all of that stuff, we could make it through the 1970s. And I think, again, here we are going, okay, they did that, they did that. This is our time to shine and become even better than we were before, hopefully. And those, the, the things that make that happen are family, community, compassion, love. That's it.